Hey guys, so a lot of you have sent me messages and, you know, commented on my YouTube channel and asked me questions about how I do my finances and taxes and things like that. So I wanted to make a little video kind of giving you a description of how I do things and then giving you some tips and resources to help you do it on your own. So I kind of feel like there's three main things that you really need in order to be kind of successful with your finances as an independent stylist or just as an employed stylist. Um, and those are you need a strategy and kind of a philosophy for how you do your finances and how you set goals for yourself, things like that. You want to do some planning. Um, number two is you need a good bookkeeping system or method. And then number three is you need a way to file your taxes. So um, let's start with the bookkeeping part. So you want to make sure that you're tracking obviously all your expenses and then all of your revenue and then making sure you're understanding how to do um, the profit and loss. So one really great way, because the expenses can really rack up and the revenue could really rack up and it could be confusing remembering everything. So my favorite tool for this is called QuickBooks Self-Employed. So this is an app you can get on your iPhone or Android. It's an amazing tool. I think it's about $4 a month or something like that, but it's absolutely worth it. You could actually like take pictures of your receipt. It will read the receipt, find the title of it, how much you spent, and it'll help you auto categorize things so that you really don't have to do so much work at the end of the year when you go to file your taxes. So when it comes to managing my taxes and my finances, I use a few different bank accounts to help me with this so that I could separate my personal stuff with my business stuff and also separate things within the business as well. So I'll have a separate account for taxes. I'll have a separate account for revenue. I'll have a separate account for savings and I'll make sure that like right off the top, a certain percentage goes into my taxes. Now, the percentage of that will vary, but I think you're going to be pretty safe with about 15%. If you just set aside right off the top about 15% for taxes um, and then you can kind of categorize all your revenue as it comes in and put them in those different accounts. This really helps you stay organized. Um, it's really amazing. And then at the end of the year and when I'm filing my taxes quarterly as well, I use TurboTax. It's a really easy system. You just kind of plug everything that you learned from your QuickBooks self-employed. So that's how you did all your bookkeeping. You kind of plug that into TurboTax and it's very easy, it does it for you, it'll tell you exactly how much you owe. And if you do this right, if you take that tax out right from the top, right from your gross revenue, which is just all the revenue, has nothing to do with profit, just your gross revenue, so everything that you make that year, if you take that 15% out off the top, you're likely not going to end up paying everything from that tax account. You're likely gonna pay even less than what you had set aside for taxes. So this is a really great way to stay organized and make sure that you know you don't come to the end of year end of the year and realize you owe a bunch of taxes. So another really amazing resource that I have for you guys. So you got the QuickBooks Self-Employed that's great for bookkeeping. You got TurboTax which is amazing for just filing your taxes. It's so easy. Um, the third resource that I want to share with you guys is this book called Profit First by um, Mike Michalowicz. It's this book was life changing to me. Like I explained before, I kind of did something similar before I started reading this book and that was um, you know breaking up my income into a few different bank accounts uh, but what's so amazing about this book is it teaches you it's kind of like that on steroids so it makes you extremely organized with your finances extremely organized with your taxes so that you're always remaining profitable and you're not spending too much or you're not spending too little you're making sure that you make calculated decisions for everything that you're doing within your business and this will help you it'll kind of be a catalyst for how you make other decisions with your marketing with um you know building your clientele and things like that this if you can manage your finances really well like this and be really on top of it it will be the catalyst to make sure that you are good in all other aspects of business as well. So I highly, highly recommend this book if you want to be great with your finances, which so many of you guys have asked me questions about this. And I think that's such an amazing goal to have. So I definitely really, really, really recommend this book, Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. And I will link it for you guys if you want to check it out as well. Well, I hope that was helpful. And remember right now I'm doing these kind of like mini coaching sessions. So if you have a question for me, go ahead and send me a 30 second video of yourself asking the question to my DMs. Make sure to record it on your phone first and then send it to my DMs and I will answer your question here on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.